Hello friends, I am Lalit Vasist and you are watching Engineering Made Easy. Today's topic is Multiplexer. Here we will study what we mean by Multiplexer. But before this, it is important to know what is Multiplexing. Actually, Multiplexer is a device that is used for the purpose of Multiplexing. Whenever we have one or more signals, these signals may be analog or digital and we wanted to transmit them over a common transmission line. Then this uh, technique of uh, sending one or more analog signals or digital signals over a common transmission line is known as multiplexing. And uh, the multiplexers are the devices that we use for the purpose of multiplexing. So let's now see uh, the working of multiplexer. Uh, here we will see multiplexers in the context of uh, digital communication, digital signals. We have a digital signal and we wanted to transmit them using multiplexing. So here we will see the working of the multiplexer, its a structure. And along with this, we will see the 2 to 1 multiplexer, 4 to 1 multiplexer and uh, its a truth table, logical expression and implementation of this uh, logical expression and so on. So keep watching this video till the end. And if you have not subscribed my channel yet, then please uh, subscribe the channel Engineering Made Easy so that you can get the notification of my latest upcoming videos. So let's start. Here you can see this is a 4 cross 1 MUX. Actually multiplexer is also known as MUX MUX in short. You see its structure since it is 4 to 1 MUX. Okay, so 4 to 1 means 4 inputs. At the input side we have 4 digital inputs and at this side the output is 1. Actually it is 4 to 1, 2 to 1 MUX has multiple inputs at this side and a single output. Here we have two select lines. Here you can see S, S denotes the select line, select input or also known as control input. Its function is to control which input will go on the output side. Okay, whether I0 will go on the output or I1 or I2 or I3, it is controlled by these control input or the select input select lines. So actually you see here that this is a 4 to 1 MUX. So here we have 4 inputs and 1 output. This, is, this denotes the inputs and this is 1 is output. So what is the purpose of these select lines? Actually since here we have 2 select lines and these 2 select lines can have 4 combinations. Either these uh, two can be 0, 0 or they can be 0, 1, 1, 0 and 1, 1. This is the combination 2 to the power n. We know the if we have 3 inputs, 3 control inputs, then there will be 2 to the power 3 combinations 0, 0, 0 like 2 to the power 3. So here we have only 2 control lines. So its combination will be 2 to the power 2. 2 to the power if it is n, n number of select lines, so it will be 2 to the power n combinations. So it can control 2 to the power 2 means 4 inputs. Okay, so well, uh, it can be either 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, or 1, 1. So these 4 combinations will decide which input will go on the output side, which input is allowed to appear on the output side. As I uh, told you that uh, 2 to the power n formula that m is equal to 2 to the power n. Actually what is m? Well, m is the number of data inputs and n is the number of control inputs the select lines that I told you. So if there are two select lines then 2 to the power 2 means 4. 4 inputs it can control. Okay and if there are three select lines 2 to the power 3 means 2 into 2 into 2 means 8. 8 inputs are allowed. They can be controlled by 3 select lines. In multiplexer what we do? One of the input is transferred to the output line. Okay. Dep depending on the control input. Okay. The combination whether the control inputs are 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0 or 1, 1. We will see it later also. So keep watching. It is a combinational circuit. This multiplexer is a combinational circuit. Combinational circuit means it does not contain any memory. Memory circuits are flip flops, uh, registers, etc. But this does not contain any kind of uh, memory. So it is a, just a combinational circuit. And there are other names of multiplexer also. It is known by other names like data selector as it selects the data. What uh, data, what input uh, is going to appear on the output side. 
so it is it acts as a data selector it is a parallel to serial circuit also known as a parallel to serial circuit because uh, multiple uh, inputs we apply in parallel and uh, we get output as serial many to one circuit because on the left side we have many multiple inputs and output is only one so multi many to one and also universal logic circuit because we can design using multiplexer the basic gates like AND gate OR gate etc so this acts as a universal logic circuit because of this feature now we will discuss here two types of multiplexer 2 to 1 and 4 to 1 multiplexer and we'll see the symbol and its design working truth table logical expression and also the implementation of logical expression of these uh, 2 to 1 and 4 to 1 multiplexer so keep watching it here it is 2 to 1 mux by the name it is clear that uh, 2 to 1 means here we have two inputs and one output always output will be one because it is a many to one circuit okay this is the symbol of it this this you see here uh, this is uh, one select line only one control input we use because only uh, here we s0 can either be 0 or 1 1 bit 2 to the power 1 2 to the power 1 means 2 so only one control input is enough to control these two inputs because it can have two combinations 0 and 1 at 0 we will allow when s0 zero is 0 we will allow i0 to appear on the output and when it is s0 is 1 i1 can be transmitted to the output so only one control input is enough for 2 to 1 mux and uh, initially we see we have seen that uh, for the 4 to 1 mux we had uh, two control inputs because two control inputs will have four combinations and they can control four inputs okay 2 to the power 2 means 4 so this is the symbol for mux keep it in mind these are inputs outputs control inputs this is symbol and you see it this is the switch um, uh, and it is analogous to a switch where uh, this switch can if if you touch it with this i0 then i0 will appear on the uh, output side y will be equal to i0 input and if it touches this i1 then this will be transmitted to the output side so y will be equal to i1 so this is a simple symbol of mux now let's see the truth table of the 2 to 1 mux it is very easy as i told you that uh, if the control input s here you see it if this control input s is uh, can have two combinations it can be zero or it can be one look at this zero or one so when it is zero this i zero will appear i zero will be transmitted y will be equal to i zero and if it's another combination if its uh, value is uh, one s zero is one then i will i one will be the value of output this i one will be transmitted to the output now we will write the logical expression for this uh, truth table we will derive it from this truth table so how to write this logical expression uh, actually we can also use the Carnot's map k map but uh, it can be simply derived by observation so how we do this here we write the here is the output and here is the control inputs that we vary so here the control input is s so it can have two combinations s bar and s uh, s bar means 0 and s means 1 so y will be obtained output will be i0 output will be i0 when s is 0 so we write it as s bar this first write for this line s bar s0 uh, s value is 0 so s bar i0 output is i0 plus when it is s then output will be i1 so we write it in this way i will also tell you this when we will write the logical expression for 4 to 1 marks you will uh, it will be more clear in that case so you can also cross check it if i write the value of s as 0 then output should be y should be equal to i0 okay so let's check it put the value s equals to 0 so if i put uh, s equal to 0 so it will be zeros bar will be 1 so it is i0 plus s put to s equal to 0 so it will be 0 so 0 plus i0 means i0 so output y is equals to equal to i0 when i put value of s equals to 0 in this equation so you can cross check it now it's time to see the implementation of uh, 
this logical expression how we can uh, implement it using gate this expression okay so it's very easy actually so here uh, what I need here uh, just this plus shows that I need one or gate and uh, two end operations are here so two end gates are required and one not gate is required for this s bar so it is very easy look at this first I want to write uh, s implement s bar i0 so this is the end gate so here I get this is s so not means s bar here I have s bar and this is i0 so multiplying this this is end gate so at the output I will get s this is what s bar i0 and what is this this is i1 and from this I am taking s so s into i1 this is, this is end gate so s i1 and s bar i0 s i1 goes into the input of an OR gate so it will be added so at the output I will get s bar i0 plus s i1 so this these two will be added here okay at the output so I will get y so this is very simple logical expression hope you can understand it easily so now let's come to 4 to 1 mux here is 4 to 1 mux it is shown here 4 to 1 means 4 input lines that uh, will be that will appear any one of these lines will appear on the output side y okay 4 to 1 and uh, we need uh, two data selectors or the control inputs uh, to control these four inputs why because two two are enough two to the power two if this is two then i will write two to the power two means four so these two can have four combinations uh, and these four combinations can control these four inputs we will decide what input will go towards the output side what will appear on the output side so you see s0 and s1 these are the control inputs and y is the output okay so these two can have four combinations 0 0 0 1 1 0 and 1 1 okay these four combinations and these four combinations we will will decide what output what will be the output what input will go towards the output side so this is very simple when both are zero then y will be equal to i0 or you can say the i0 input will appear on the output side and when s1 is uh, 0 and s0 is 1 then i1 will be the output and so on okay you can see this so i can simply write the logical expression from this truth table i have already told you it is very easy by observation look at this first of all write this for this this line so it is what it is s0 s s10 because both of these zero means bar see okay so s1 bar s0 bar and just write the what will appear on this combination it will be i0 so s1 bar s0 bar and i0 plus just keep adding these this is what this is s1 bar and s0 is as it is so s1 bar s0 i1 okay and what is this this is s1 s0 is bar 0 means bar so s0 bar i2 plus s1 s0 no bar because both are 1 s1 s0 i3 okay we add these all so we will get output you can uh, cross check the values but that this expression actually denotes this truth table if i put uh, 1 1 value in all these uh, in this uh, equation s1 is 1 and s0 is 1 then i should get i3 as the output so if i place 1 here s1 as 1 so 1 1 bar means 0 so this is 0 s1 if s1 is 1 then uh, bar of uh, the complement of 1 is 0 so this goes to 0 and this as since s0 is also 1 so uh, s0 is 1 so 1's bar is 0 so this expression goes to 0 but in this expression uh, 1 1 put s1 and s0 as 1 1 1 i3 so this is i3 so 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus i3 comes to comes equal to i3 so y is equals to i3 
so our expression is correct you can check each value so this is the logical right expression now uh, what will i do i will uh, just uh, implement this uh, logical expression using basic gates and gate and or gate so let's implement this logical expression let's first uh, do this s1 bar s0 bar i0 so here i need s1 bar s0 bar bar means not gate and i0 and will end these three okay so for this this is the implementation here this is the line you see this uh, vertical line is for s1 so whenever i need s1 i can take it from here and this is the not gate so if i take this input this after this not gate this whole line is uh, vertical line is for s1 bar okay this is for s1 this is for s1 bar this line is denotes the s s0 and uh, this i have implemented as uh, i have used not gate so after this not gate this whole line is for s0 and this line has become s0 bar so i will take the input whenever uh, i need it so s1 bar s0 bar and i0 so s1 bar so s1 bar line is this is the s1 bar line this is s1 this is s1 bar so for this first this is these three things i will take this is s1 bar then i need s0 bar so s0 bar is where this is the line of s0 bar okay this this vertical line so i need look at this this is s0 bar s1 bar s0 bar from this this point s0 bar this is s1 bar and the third input is i0 so i0 i have given from this these are the four inputs okay four inputs so this is i0 so in this end gate you see i have ended these three because this is the end symbol s1 bar into s0 bar into i0 so i need a end gate that can have three inputs and can add that can add these three inputs so i need three things s1 bar i have taken from this this is s1 bar line okay this dot and the second thing is s0 bar so s0 bar is from this this is the input and third thing and the third thing is i0 so this is the i0 and ended these three so at the output here what will i get this is what this is s1 bar s0 bar i0 so i got this now what is this output this output is just the end of all these three s1 bar s0 and i1 so you look at this this is the i1 line this is i1 okay and i want to end these three second thing is i s0 so where is s0 s0 line is this so this is s0 you look this is s0 and the third thing is third input is s1 bar so this is the line of s1 and this is the s1 bar so this is s1 bar line so these three will be ended here using an end gate and uh, at the output i will get s1 bar s0 i1 s1 bar s0 i1 so in this in the same way i will get uh, s1 s0 bar i2 at this point and s1 s0 i3 so here i have s1 s0 i3 and what is this output s1 s0 bar i2 so at the output this these uh, four outputs i will have of uh, end gate outputs so all these four end gate outputs will act as an input to this or gate these are end gate this is the or gate so or gate will add all these four you see here this this and this so these four will be added so i have an or gate so at the output end y there will be the summation of all these four so this expression this whole expression of y that i want to implement will be equal to the will appear at its output so in this way i have uh, implemented this complete logical expression of 4 to 1 max that i derived from the truth table of 4 to 1 max so hope you understand all these uh, concepts 
and uh, in the next videos we will see uh, more uh, videos regarding mux and uh, other uh, topics uh, related to digital electronics so keep watching my channel and if you like this video please uh, click on the like button and uh, share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe the channel engineering made easy for more such videos so thank you for watching have a nice day bye see you soon in the next video bye take care